Well, I'm here parked on a cul-de-sac. And, uh, yeah, for what it's worth, there's a highway. The cul-de-sac just butts up against the highway. And if you can see beyond here to the left, you can see, you can see the snow-capped Rockies. Uh, there's less snow on them today, thankfully. But uh, this past week, we had a few snowstorms. Uh, I wouldn't say snowstorms, more like snow, you know, uh, moments. <laughs> but it left, it, it dumped about, you know, four to five to six inches. But the nice thing about it, or the redeeming thing about the snow, was that it was uh, powder. It wasn't, um, it wasn't frozen. And then yesterday it was just the strangest day because in the morning the roads were so icy uh, that you had to just crawl on the roads because you know you break at any speed you'd you'd slide and spin. And then you know by noon or one o'clock all the everything was melting and it was like it hadn't even sort of been there it hadn't hadn't even iced over. So that's one thing that people who live here like to make fun of or celebrate is the fact that you know if you don't like the weather in in Denver just wait 30 minutes but I, I don't like that joke it's a it's annoying as hell because uh, you know you have to plan around the weather so people are you know are a bit vigilant like people are always going to you know Alexa what's the weather today uh, instead of just <laughs> <laughs> looking on their phone or you know googling the Denver forecast anyway it's a uh, so that's that's what it is so weather is important up here because it's fickle uh, I don't know what else to say I'm just kind of a little disturbed by the forecast of this lockdown and uh, Particularly the the disruption of the food chain, you know, the uh, su the supply chain, you know, namely the foods, um, where you have these pork uh, farms and pork manufacturers, you know, losing a you know five percent of their production. That's going to have a ripple effect in the stores and in restaurants, the ones that do reopen, even in these chains that are still open, or that you know, like McDonald's and. Burger King and whatnot, um, they're still open, but I, but I can imagine the, you know, the pork uh, supplies being affected there. So they're gonna, you know, we're gonna have to discontinue the uh, sausage and egg McMuffin sandwiches until further notice, you know. So, um, yeah. I don't like, and yeah, I don't like this, and it's just disturbing. I don't like the fact that people are wearing masks while they're driving alone in a car, a single person alone in a car, driving, and yet they're wearing a mask. Who are they protecting themselves from? <laughs> so it's you know, it's like, is do they think that their car is just kind of you know has accumulated layers of viral? you know, activity on the dashboard, I don't know, or the steering wheel. Has somebody else been driving their car? Has somebody else touched their radio? No, I mean, it's just, uh, it's, it's beyond irrational. It's, it is that, you know, people make fun of, or, you know, of people by citing the, the movie Idiocracy. But Jesus, I mean, I, I've never, I've never seen, I've never seen like a herd mentality like this in that, it's scary because they're just disconnected from you know just just thinking and and and, and learning. Anyway, so I'm I'm just, I guess I'm starting to rant, so I should probably uh, bring this to a close. So anyway, today is a Saturday. It's uh, April the 18th. It's uh, Charlene's birthday. So hope she's having fun. I'm sure she is. All right. Uh, 
take care of everybody. One thing I don't like is that everybody I run into, they all say, stay safe, be safe, keep safe. It's annoying because, I mean, I, I mean, people are trying to be nice, but that, that's the dumbest way of being nice. The dumbest way. And it's enabling. That's the kind of, ugh. You know, be safe. Well, you know, it's like, you be safe. <laughs> and, you know, like people want to treat everyone like they're a child. Like they don't have their own survival skills. You know, like they haven't acquired survival skills over years or decades. Just say, you know, if you want to say something, just say, say God bless or, you know, have a great, have a good day. That's all you got to do. But again, it's this herd. I mean, I wish we had herd immunity, but we don't. We're not getting that. We're just, we get this sort of herd enabling. Ugh. It's disgusting. In my opinion. All right. That's it.